Howdy and welcome to my channel. Today is uh, March the 23rd. I think it's been eight days since I made the last video. And I said I'd make a video showing the peppers in their cups, how well they fill out the cups. So I guess it's been... Well, I'll show you first. Let me adjust the camera. Alright, this being probably about, oh, five weeks since they've been in these cups now, four or five weeks. You can see, I'm going to show you, this is a MOA yellow scotch bonnet. I'm going to show you the root system on it. Now, on these roots, they look root bound. You can trim this off. I do a lot of times. You can just take them out. Well, it'd be fine if you're going to do it in hydroponics right now. Just clean the roots off. It's a good root system on it right now. But if you want, you can always one tip you can do to help it. If you're gonna put it back in the cup, you can always just trim trim these roots off. Do the same thing on tomatoes and all too, just like on any plant really. But um I do it usually just uh make it stimulate the the um, growth of the roots so they will um fill out more when I put them in the the um, larger cups, that's good enough. It don't have to be chopped all to pieces. But I just want to show what they look like when I take them out of the cups to get ready to pot them up into a pot. All right. I have a bottle here. I'm going to show you how. I do it the same way I do all the other peppers. Now, here it is. I put this in there and just fill it up so it'll be ready. And this way they should they should look. <coughs> now by trimming the roots, what I did trimming the roots on this thing, it'll be ready to it'll fill this cup out pretty well. Uh, this is how I do all of them, all my peppers, before I sell them. I transfer them to bottles like this, and this is it. This is still kind of small. This will still be a lot larger than what it is right now before it sells. This one's pretty sturdy plant. It's short and kind of stalky, filled out more. Still, I'm going to show you a little tip. Now... Some of them get tall and leggy, they do, until they get um, filled out. So, shish kebab skewers. Shish kebab skewers. I use these for steaks, just like you would if you're staking a plant in the garden. I do it in these pots. I put this, just run it, put it down. Well, I got one in this. And you see how flimsy it is. See, it's leaning over. When I pull them out of the cup, sometimes it pulls them up out of the soil a little bit and loosens them up. They're not so sturdy, so... You can just take this and just run it down there between the leaves. Each one of the leaves. Stand it up. Now will have the plant support the plant until it gets strong enough to support itself. So that's just a small tip right there. And that happens that happens to a few of the plants. Not a lot of them, but a few of them will do that. Get that leggy like that before they get really, really limber. So, but that's just a tip on that. You can see this right here is a ML Marugas, Trinidad, Trinidad Maruga Scorpion. And you can see how this one's root bound. Well, it's not really root bound. It's starting to spilling up. It's not quite as bad as the other one was. But you can see the roots on it. It's pretty good shape. The real healthy roots. It's fill, filling up the whole cup. It'll fill up the whole cup. Now, tomato, tomatoes I did a couple weeks ago. I did video on the show the other day they'll do the same thing just like that and you just trim them up put them back in the cup and they'll, they can last a little bit longer before you get ready to transfer them well I'm 
that's just a small tip on how I'm showing the roots. So I promised there, but promised people I would show the roots on the um, on the pepper plants and show how well they fill out the cups, how quick they quickly they fill the cups out, and um, and a small tip on um, supporting them in the pots if you have to if they're weak. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching.